In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to add text-to-speech to your chatbot. Now, like the name, text-to-speech allows your chatbot to output an audio file of text that you've created within your chatbot. There are a few reasons that you'd want to do this. First is for accessibility, specifically for those with vision issues. And second is to create a richer experience for your users, especially some chatbots with different themes can benefit from having a voice. It's also becoming more common for people to have text converted to speech for convenience. So to get started, select My Bot from the left-hand menu, then navigate to the chatbot that you wish to add this capability. In this case, we'll go Main Street Med Center. Now, you add text to speech within individual interactions. In this case, we're in the first one, intro. So that's a good place to start. And you'll see down below the bot message, text to speech. So right now it's set to off. When we click manual mode, we'll see here that playing it will create that text. First, let's play. Hello, welcome to Main Street Medical Center. How can I help you today? And as you can hear it, you can see it play in the voice. Now, when we open up settings, there's a variety of different things that you can do. In this case, you can change the language to a variety of different languages. Now this will default to the language that you've selected to build your chatbot in. And as you can see, there are also a number of different voices. Now this will vary depending on the language that you choose, For example, Hi, this is Snatchbot. This short message is to allow you to listen to each of the available voices and decide which one suits you best. Hi, this is Snatchbot. Now this is very useful if you wanted to customize more to match closer to the speaking style of the country that you're in or that the users will mostly be using. So one thing I'll call out here is each time that you change this voice, you'll see this notification here, message your voice settings have changed click button to regenerate. That's going to regenerate it and make it match the actual settings that you've put it to. So you can also show an embed text if you like, as you'll see embedding media with this can sometimes affect how audio files have sent. So it's a good thing to research and make sure if you need it or not. Now, the other option is auto generation. Now with manual, the, the, tech, sorry, the text file is converted to speech once when you create your chatbot and it stays there and will need to be manually updated and regenerated anytime you make a change to the text that is being converted to speech. Now with auto, it's real time conversation uh, transmitting from text to speech. Why would you use this? Well. If your chatbot does things like collect different variables and pull in custom attributes that could change what the message contains, this is what you're going to want to use. However, it does cause things to run a little bit more slowly sometimes if you are using this as it requires a little bit more computing power. So it's best to use it sparingly. Example here, once I switch the voice, I don't need to go and hit regenerate. So it's really about balancing how much you need this feature and using it when you need it most. And that's how easy it is to get started with text to speech. I'll show you here with a quick test one more time. We'll test the interaction here, pull that up. And this is how it will display unless you select embed text. It'll just be that audio file, as well as you can see here, the quick replies. Hello, welcome to Main Street Medical Center. How can I help you today? And as you can see, I didn't need to hit the regenerate button, but the voice was updated. So with that, we're at the end of our tutorial. I hope you found this valuable and we'll be able to begin adding this powerful capability to your chatbot to really take it to the next level and add that usability and accessibility that your users need. Thanks for watching.